Hey guys, welcome back to Xpop channel. Today our topic is is it a is there a possible way to get all the form task which has been completed? Or let's say how many tasks are there in the pending state in action center or how many tasks are completed in the completed tab of action center so how can i get all this form task that is our topic okay how to get form task from completed or unassigned or pending tab in action center so let's see how to do that now for this all i need to do is i'll be dragging and dropping if you go to this ui path persistence activities if you have installed the package if you go there there is something called tasks if you expand the tasks you have something called get form tasks okay so i'm download i'm i'm dragging and dropping the get form task now what i'm targeting all the items that are there in the completed tab i want to get it i want to see that is there a way within the ui path workflow can i create or can i use a activity to see how many activities are completed so yes it is possible so let's see how to do that okay so first of all this particular activity if you look at the property there are so many different o data query options okay for example if you want to filter by status called pending or filter by status called completed so i'm going to show that how to do it it's quite easy but again very very important activity so first of all so all these fields are there we will try to utilize the maximum fields available but let's start with a very simple example okay so first of all let's start with uh select okay if you highlight your mouse pointer it clearly gives you a syntax also how you should write it okay uh, let's say filter provide look at the moment i click i keep my mouse cursor you find a gray uh, rectangle box right so in that it is clearly written provide o data filter clause for example status equals to unassigned so see how it is exactly written the same way you need to return write it so many people do the mistake uh, of how to write it because if you click on this particular filter option or click over this you get this box where it clearly tells you have to write a string okay so let's start let's start writing and we will try to maintain the same format at, as it's written so we'll start with a double quote then we will write status then eq then i'm going to put single quote okay i'm using two single quotes and within the single quote let's say i'm going to write completed got it so for how i'm writing this look at it the quotes how i have used double quote and then for completed i'm using a single quote and here it is a single quote okay and everything is encapsulated within the double quote that's how you should write it okay now if i click on okay it is done now what are the fields that you need like id title status priority so what are these fields if you go back to the action center and let's say i am going to click on uh, any of this task which is completed and if you click on this three dots and click on action summary now you have lot many different properties of that right action id action title status catalog name uh, right uh, what is the cat catalog name is approval for reimbursement folder path where it is existing assigned to which user so all these things can be used so for the time being we will try to use some of it let's say if you again want to know how to write this go to the select in the property panel and keep your mouse cursor it will give you an example for example id comma title comma status priority and everything there is there in the double quote okay so let's do that uh, i'm going to write it in the similar way as per the example i'm going to say double quote and i need id and then i need status then i need let's say priority of that task okay these are the three different items that i want to see id status and priority okay so let's click on okay so ensure all your spelling and everything is uh, well written so that you have not made a mistake all right uh, if something wrong appears you need to probably correct the the way you have written it okay you need to check that in case it is not able to pull the data now the very important uh, output of this get form task is task object okay task object so here let me create a, a variable control plus k and i'm going to say get form right form tasks so i'll create a output called form 
tasks okay okay now we have to understand what is this form task okay now if you go to the output if you look at the output form task what it tells if you highlight on this it tells you task objects so every task id like that there are multiple objects of task task objects it has a s right task objects which is kind of a list form task data it is a list list kind of a data list of task objects matching the given criteria so whatever the criteria we have given here so here are filter criteria the status equals to completed so it is try to it will try to pull all the tasks that are available under completed okay so uh, all the form tasks uh, if i say pending then it's going to pull all the tasks that is there under pending so that is the meaning so as per the filter criteria it's going to see the output so one so this much is quite easy i mean everybody does it but the question is how do you really see this output whether we are getting those ids or not how do i see it okay now for that let me use a simple for each loop okay i'm using a for each loop and i'm keeping the type argument as object uh, and here uh, i am dealing with the form task variable so i'll say form task which is a list so we need to loop through the list and we need to see the output and below this i'm going to use a message box and in the message box i'm simply going to write so form task will have all the task uh, you know one after the other it is going to pull each of this task let's say first one is 223497 then 949 then 06 whatever it is right it's going to pull uh, in the uh, all the tasks that are there all the form tasks that are there so once it pulls i want to see what is its id or whom it is assigned what is the status what is the priority all of this you can you can see all the various properties linked with this item okay so i'm going to pull the id so see look at this now i'm not able to when i'm using a dot id it's not able to pull it there is an error okay so how do i fix it this is because in the for each loop instead of me keeping as a object i need to change it so what to you know i mean what kind of a data i should select here do i select list do i select something else so let me tell you how do you get to know what what kind of a type argument i should select now look at the form task variable okay this one output this is a, a form task data so this particular variable is a form task data the another best option is to go to the variable panel and look at this now if you highlight on this it clearly tells you it is system dot collections dot generic dot list ui path dot persistence dot activities dot form task form task data okay so we have to look for ui path dot persistence dot activities so to correct this error i will go here to the type argument click on the browse for types and here in the browse for types so this is how we need to know because if i simply tell you then you will you will not understand how i am doing it so this is the way you need to find out so it is ui path persistence so you get a real learning because it is hard to remember everything right but if you know how i can find it you can utilize this technique in multiple ways t i v i t i e s dot form okay form task you go and it should be form task data right this is exactly we have seen so i am selecting form task data click on okay okay let's double check if you read form task dot form task data okay so i have selected properly now you can see the error has gone and you can if you put a dot now item dot you have got lot many properties that you can pull for example id you can pull last modification time last last modify user priority status so all of these things task url title all these things can be pulled so as of now i am interested only with the id okay i am saying select id right so i am select only going with the id you can also pull lot many other things you can put in the select criteria what are the different uh, properties that you would like to pull for that particular task okay this is done now let's run it and then i'm going to talk about how do you utilize the task catalog name if you want to do filter out only specific tasks how to do that i'm going to show it now for the time being let's run this so this much is clear right how to use the get form task and for each loop how you can utilize so this is one way there are multiple ways to even pull the data i am going to show you 
through a simple assign activity also or a message box also you can do it so here the first one came as 725 937 938 okay now here if you look at the output it tells you retrieved 32 tasks from the server okay so like that it will continue for all the 32 different tasks 941 now there is another way so this is how you download or you can uh, create a workflow uh, to utilize within your workflow right wherever you want to utilize so get form task will be very very useful so this is one way now the other way if you ask me rakesh instead of me downloading everything like this what if i wanted to only download specific tasks which are related to approval for reimbursement approval for reimbursement only the specific tasks i want to get it okay so how to do that now for that all you need to do click on this task whatever the task and look if there is a catalog created remember there is something called action catalog approval for reimbursement so this is there is a catalog created now, if you don't know what is a catalog name, this is very, very important in Action Center. I would recommend you to search uh, on your YouTube Action Catalog Expo Hub. And there's a video that I have created on how to utilize Action Catalog. This is very useful to categorize all your tasks, which category of task it is. Okay, for that, it is very, very useful. So you watch this video in case you are not aware. Otherwise, if you know what is a catalog name, I'm going to copy that catalog name. Okay, I'm going to copy this catalog name and I will go to studio and here in the task catalog name, I'll put a double quote and put it very simple. So this time, last time it has pulled how many activities in total? 32. Now, if I put like this, one second, let me paste it in our notepad. I think some kind of a formatting issue. So let me copy it from here, go back and double code and paste it. simple now if you do this in last time how many output has come 32 tasks were come in the completed tab now it will be less okay so let's save it and try to run this okay now if you run it the total count should be less because we are only filtering out only specific one now you see retrieved 14 tasks because all the 14 tasks are under the approval for reimbursement. So like that it will come all the 14 tasks it is going to show one by one. So this is how you pull the output. This is also a simple way. Let's say you do not want to, uh, you want to only act uh, with the uh, couple of items. Uh, you want to only filter the first top five items. So there is an option. Okay, In, let's say there are a lot of uh, tasks and you want to filter out you want to give it a criteria so there is something called top okay so if you highlight this top okay if you highlight this top it tells you provide o data top clause maximum of thousand records can be retrieved in one batch if not provided up to 100 records will be retrieved so you want to define something let's say you want to uh, define it to something let's say i want only the first top five so it is going to pull only the top five records okay so this is uh, this is very different properties that you can explore uh, but if you got this example now you can explore more on how you can utilize in a workflow or on a specific condition now you can see retrieve five tasks it is going to only retrieve five tasks okay so i'm going to cancel it so you yeah, understood how this one is very very useful now you will say rakesh i don't want inside my workflow i wanted to simply download uh, all the uh, catalogs into an excel file so yes that is also possible you can go to any of the tab from where you want to download and hit on this three button download actions so let's say i want to download the completed tab i can click on this and hit on download actions so just by doing this you will you will see a excel file getting downloaded in few seconds okay it got downloaded and you can op open that and verify the data so all right guys so i hope uh, this particular activity will be very very useful i am going to show you a practical usage of this where i wanted to complete tasks so for example how many tasks are in pending i want to automatically complete it i don't want to manually come and approve it i want to build a workflow which will pull all the pending resources or the pending task and it is going to automatically approve it so how to do that i'm going to come up in the next video i hope uh, this particular activity and this video must be helping you thank you so much to learn more conceptual learnings 
on UI path. Please do continue with Expo Hub and please do subscribe. Please do share with your friends who are looking for a job in RPA field. So thank you so much guys for all the love and support. Take care. Bye bye.